so you've got yourself a brand new Galaxy Z Fold 6 but when you start using it you quickly realize that the cover as well as the main home screens are kind of boring I mean there is really nothing useful on here so let's change that and we'll make some useful changes add some super useful widgets and make both of the home screens super functional and awesome now, before we start making changes, one thing you will have to keep in mind is that on the Samsung Fold, the home screen on the cover is completely separate from the one on the main screen. So that means if you make any changes on the main screen's home screen, like if we remove the weather widget, this change is not gonna show up on the cover screen, as you can see. And it's the same thing other way around. However, if you want the same layout and changes on both, then there's a setting that you can enable by pinching in on the home screen and then going into the cover screen mirroring setting and switch this on. This will make both the cover and the main screens identical and any changes that you make will reflect on both the home screens. Now, one thing that I really like about this is that you'll be able to see two cover screens on the main screen, which is kinda awesome. So I'm really tempted to keep this setting on for now and set up our cover screen and see how it looks like on the main screen. If it's good, we'll keep it or else we'll design a new home screen for the main screen. So let's start with the cover screen because this is the one that you are gonna use the most. Alright, so when you start using the phone for the very first time, this is how the home screen and the app drawer is gonna look like. And you know what? I've always felt that there is a lot of space between the icons. I feel we can fit more icons on both the home screen as well as the app drawer. So we're gonna pinch in on the home screen and head on into its settings. Now to fit more icons on the home screen, you wanna tap on the home screen grid. So by default, this is set to 4 into 6, that is, 4 icons in the horizontal row and 6 in vertical. I would recommend changing this to 5 into 6, that is, 5 icons in the horizontal and 6 in vertical row. So this option is gonna give you a lot of space to fit your icons and widgets on the home screen. Now to change the setting for the app drawer, let's go back into the settings and tap on apps screen grid. We are going to change this to 5 into 6 and this allows you to fit more icons on a single page. I also recommend changing the way the apps are sorted in the app drawer. So we are gonna tap here and select the alphabetical order because that makes it super easy to search for an app. Also on the home screen, this bottom row is called the favorites panel and the icons that you place here will always be there no matter what home screen you're on. So what you want to do is put the icons of apps that you use frequently down in the favorites panel. This way you'll have access to these apps no matter which home screen you're on. So next, I'm also going to replace the Samsung web browser with Chrome because I prefer using Chrome. And lastly, I've also brought the dialer icon to the right so it's easier for me to open it with my right thumb. And if you are left handed, then you want to put the dialer icon on the left. Like I've said, you want to customize this as per your requirements. Alright, now that we are done with the basic customization of the phone, let me show you some useful widgets that you might want to add to your home screen. But before that, you want to customize the number of home screens you want. So by default, there are two home screens. The one on the far left is your Google feed. If you don't like it, you can always switch off Google feed from over here. But I don't really mind keeping it here, so I'm going to leave it on. And this does not count as a home screen, so for now, we are gonna ignore this. Now, I prefer having three home screens because that's gonna allow us to add a couple of useful widgets. So to customize, pinch in and then we will add another home screen over here. Then we're gonna make the middle one our main home screen by tapping on the home button. There you go. The next thing you want to do is remove all of the icons and the widgets from the home screens so that you have three empty home screens to customize. Alright, so now that all of our home screens are empty, we can now start adding widgets by pinching in on the home screen and widgets. So the first widget we're going to add is the monthly calendar view. We're going to add this because it also shows you your upcoming appointments for the day. And we're going to place this on the leftmost home screen. 
The next thing we're gonna do is make the widget a little bit transparent. So long press the widget and then tap on settings. We're gonna switch off match with dark mode and select black and adjust the transparency. There you go. Now the widget looks really nice. So let's go back to the calendar widgets and also add the list view. So this is going to show us all of our upcoming appointments and events for the entire month. Very useful. You can also add a countdown timer to a specific event in your calendar. Just add the countdown widget and select an event from the calendar. It's gonna come in handy to remember birthdays and anniversaries. Another widget that I absolutely recommend is the Samsung Health widget. You want to add the daily activity widget because this is going to show you how many steps you've taken and how many calories you've burned. And sometimes you might want to have to resize the widget if you want to see the entire thing. So please keep that in mind. You also might want to add the digital wellbeing widget. This is going to show you the apps and for how long you've been using them along with your screen on time. Kind of makes it easy to keep a track on your daily smartphone usage habits. I'm also tweaking the transparency as I move along. So the thing is, you want to make these changes according to what's best for you. This is only a rough guide. But yeah, these translucent widgets kind of look nice. Now, on the main home screen, you can add a clock that shows you both the time and the weather. So to add this, what you want to do is go to the weather widgets and here add the weather and clock widget. Now obviously this is a personal choice. Alternatively, you can also add a dual time clock and have the phone show you time of another region or country. This comes in very handy if you have a friend or a relative living in another time zone. And you can put this on top of your main home screen. As for the weather widget, in my opinion the weather forecast widget is the best. And we're gonna drag and drop it to our main home screen. Now, if you don't like the weather forecast widget, then you can try out the dynamic weather widget. It kind of displays some additional information like chances of rain or snow, but I still feel that the weather forecast widget is the best. I also highly recommend that you add the Samsung Notes widget to the main home screen because this lets you create a new note with a single tap. Very useful, right? So this deserves a spot on the main home screen. You also might want to add the device care widget and this is very useful because it's going to show you how much storage and RAM is in use. Now if you feel like the home screen is getting too crowded, you can combine two widgets in a single one. It is very simple, just drag and drop the widgets on top of each other and you will see both of them will combine, giving us two widgets inside of a single one. Awesome! So this will allow you to save space and have more widgets on the home screen. I've also left some space at the bottom, so here you might want to add the icons of applications that you use frequently. So there you go, I've added a bunch of apps that I use on a daily basis, everything essential is right here. But you know what, if you prefer a cleaner look, then you can move the top row onto the next page or drag and drop the icons on top of each other to create a folder. Like I said, this is a personal choice. You want to customize according to what suits you better. Now, one thing I do recommend is adding a dedicated video recording shortcut on the home screen. So what you want to do is long press the camera icon and you'll get three options. Drag and drop the video recording shortcut here on your home screen. So tapping on the camera takes you to the photo mode and tapping on the video recording shortcut will take you directly into the video recording mode, cutting down the time it takes to switch between the camera modes. Very useful, right? And finally, on the third home screen, we've got the Gmail widget, which also doubles up as the music player. This is because we have combined two widgets inside of a single one. And if you're wondering, this is the Samsung Music Player widget. But you can have any Music Player widget that you like. If you're into online streaming, you can also have Spotify's widget over here. And I've also added a battery widget. Now this one is quite useful because along with the level of charge in the phone, it is also going to show you the level of charge with any of the devices that you connect to the phone. And along with this, I've also combined the Bixby Vision widget and this thing is awesome. First off, it contains a real-time text translator which is very similar to Google Translate. So it will translate text in real-time. 
There's also a text scanner that you can use to copy text from physical documents and paste the text anywhere on your phone. And it also has an image search feature. So if you want to find out more information about something, you can just take a photo and search for it. And continuing the trend from the main home screen, we've also left some space at the bottom for extra icons. Now, one final widget that you can add is the alarm clock. This is totally optional, but I feel it's kind of useful if you use your phone as an alarm clock. And that is pretty much it for the customization of the cover screen. And yeah, we've got almost every useful widget imaginable. Now, if you unfold the phone, this is how the cover screen's home screen looks like on the main display. And I really like how it shows two home screens on a single page. Obviously, the best part is that you'll be aware of the location of your widgets and icons since this is an exact copy of what you've got on the cover screen. But if you want a separate home screen for the main display, then you can switch off the cover screen mirroring option from the home screen setting and this will allow you to set up a completely different home screen with its own layout on the Fold's main display. And you can even have a completely separate wallpaper for the main screen. Now, it's pretty much the exact same thing on the main screen. So you get two home screens to begin with. And on your far left, you've got your Google feed. And once again, we're gonna work with three home screens, with the one in the middle being our main home screen. And the home screen setup process is exactly the same as it was on the cover screen. So we're gonna start by removing all of the icons from the home screen and then we will start adding widgets. Now I'm not gonna show the entire setup process on the camera or else this video is gonna become 20 to 25 minutes long. One reason being the setup process is pretty much identical to the cover screen, including the widgets. Yes, the widgets are also the same. Although because of the wider screen, you get a slightly different layout on the main screen. So you can have a different setup even with the same set of widgets. Now we are gonna speed through this because you guys can probably tell what I'm doing and it's pretty much identical to what we did on the cover screen. Although the layout of the main screen is slightly different, which is actually quite awesome. So I ended up placing the YouTube widget on the left most home screen, followed by a whole bunch of countdown timers to upcoming events like Halloween, Christmas and New Year's. And if it's not obvious, I'm not a minimalistic person, I like to go all out and have everything right there on my home screen. But then again, it's a personal choice. If you prefer having a clean home screen, then hey, it's up to you. Oh, and don't forget to make these transparent if you want them to look good. So there you go. This is gonna be our setup on the main screen and no, having a lot of widgets does not increase your power consumption. I mean, this isn't 2013. Smartphones have come a long way since then. Anyways, uh, what you see here is the gallery slideshow widget. It's called images and stories. I thought it kind of looks nice here. And I've already talked about the YouTube widget. One tap takes you to YouTube or you can search for videos right from your home screen. And rest of the stuff is pretty much the same as we've got on the cover screen. So slightly different layout compared to the cover screen, but the stuff is pretty much identical. And lastly, this is the on and off toggle for the video lights. I thought having this would be quite useful. So there you have it guys. That's how you go about customizing and making your Z Fold 6 awesome. And guys, if you have any questions, make sure to leave them in the comments down below. I'll try my best to answer them all. Alright, so let's end the video here. If you've enjoyed the video and if it helped you customize your phone, make sure that you hit the like button and share the video with your family and friends. More videos coming up on the Z Fold 6, so make sure that you are subscribed. Alright, so thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Tech Guy Charlie, signing off.